Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. This is exactly where we left off. I haven't done anything, but we have achieved E1M1, which is the old way of naming the maps, as you probably remember. Here is a three-dimensional, annoyingly, constantly changing view of where we're going, which is resource operations. Uh, it's loading. Uh, maybe I should have loaded it first and then said something, but here we are. Uh, it's time. I'm probably going to read a little bit more of the lore, and um, I'm probably only going to make this one video in this session, but do let me know if you would like me to click through. In fact, I'll probably do it anyway, so... Oh, incoming voice come. Let's, let's, let's deal with this first. Hello. Hello. I am Vega, the sentient Vega. intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Okay, as I was saying, when we're about to go into combat, no doubt. Um, I can click through the the uh, encyclopedia if you'd like. So mission challenges actually exist. So it's two with one trigger. Five different glory kills on the possessed. I'm assuming that is everybody in every enemy, basically, and find three stickers. So I can actually complete these challenges and get stuff done, which is really cool. Uh, these are the things that are available to find. So there's actually quite a lot of information already about the map, which makes it much more of a, a game game rather than just a run through and beat the shit out of everything, which I really appreciate. Um, so yeah, I'm going to click through all of this just for your benefit, if you really care for me to. I would also like to upgrade to find the um, a few more weapons at some point. So we've got environments. You can uh, Basically, you can read this pause on pause uh, if you really want to. I'm probably going to read it between episodes. Um, but this law here does have some information that actually develops the world as well so we'd like to at least know stuff so I'm going to basically do this I'm going to try and deal with anything that has a scroll on it Ooh, excuse me and hopefully me talking over the top of all of this doesn't make it super difficult for you to actually Pause it and learn what you need to know. So that's a possessed. Ah, so the, the, they're imps, basically. Oh, these aren't imps. So these appear to be the equivalent of just the normal troopers in the original one. Let's have a look. I'm going to read this myself. Possessed created a phenomenon while most victims, some subjects, or traces. So find the closest into everyone's system. Brain. Stick to behavior. Territorial. So they are... They used to be human. They have become zombies, basically. Imps are these things, which are gross. So we could kill a possessed. So when we actually started off, the possessed... What I thought were imps are actually the possessed, which were presumably the people that we saw in the recording pre a Lazarus event, and now... Lazarus wave, and uh, now they've become this, and we just beat the crap out of them. Uh, we'll read this Praetor suit thing here. There's more information about it waiting to turn up, basically. Uh, and I don't know if you really care about these, so I'll just point out them really quickly. And you can try and control YouTube to do that. Right, so that's that done. That only took a few minutes. Uh, and I'll probably do that in future, but let me know if you want me to do that or not. Um, I'm going to read those in between episodes, so... Well, I think the thing here is that if you... Oh. If you expect me to somehow talk about these things... Uh, like, <laughs> if you want each episode to contain lore, you're out of luck, because I'm not going to know the lore until the next episode when I've read through all the things, basically. See, when you do that, you actually jump forward quite a long way. I keep trying to reload, but it ain't a thing. I guess we're going this way. I wouldn't mind a flashlight. You think that's the thing? Oh, we can pull this apart. Just like in Doom 3. Can't help but... Uh... Variety is the spice of death. That was the third one from behind. That one wasn't different. We're going to need one from above, I think. Maybe there's two different ones from above? I think we should... Uh... Charge one of these up. Wait for it to have a flame and then... Yeah, that was... 
That was tactical. This is not a tactical game, but I'm using tactics because we don't really have too much option when we haven't got many bullets available to us. Reset power. That's how the... Look. Ooh. Nice. So that's where we need to get, I guess, because I'm looking at it in a longing way. Oh, hello. Especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? For the moment. The human sacrifices. The hell portal. The demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. Starting now. Okay, so there were presumably rumours about something. So the Hell Portal stuff, uh, this, I'm pretty sure this is Mars. The Hell Portal stuff appears to have been rumours in the past, uh, going around the base, that we'd opened the portal to Hell and all this blah blah blah. Ooh, snap data. Yes, please. Um, I believe in honesty. Especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world. Oh, it's going round and round. Um, I... I seems like this the isn't pause, and it also seems like there were rumours about the Hell Portal, and now she's saying it's all true. She I seems to believe that the things that live in Hell... Stop talking over me, woman. Uh, she seems to believe that the things that live in Hell are going to honour some agreement that they've made. Uh, so by opening the Hell Portal, we can imagine that... Oh. There's several. Can I get down on top of these? No. Can I duck? Oh, I can press control. Yes, I knew that. That's actually slightly better than middle mouse button. So I'm guessing that basically she was coerced into believing that by helping out the legions of hell to open a portal that they were going to then be nice and reward her and her disciples in some way. And I suspect that perhaps that is unlikely. So now we've just got this legions of hell shit going on. I kind of want to do a death from above thing on this joker. Let's, uh, let's do this. I accidentally headshot it. I'm trying... <laughs> Please. Oh, fucking hell. Pardon my French, but... I'm trying to do some interesting ways of killing these bastards. And they keep dissolving into the ground, which is not part of it. And uh, they keep not being killable from above. It seems to be finding it pretty difficult to uh, actually... Pardon me. Uh, I seem to be finding it pretty difficult to get them the possessed specifically into a state where I'm able to do a glory kill on them at all. You got back up again, which I'm not a fan of. So doing a special one. Oh, that was a new one. It wasn't a new one. A bit of HP kind of helps, but not very much. Can't open that. This woman needs to stop talking because she's everywhere. It's stressing me out. I can open a door that's broken, but I can't open a door that's just a door. That um, possessed engineer is going to need to be read about at some point. Let's check that out. Here's your information about it. They're mindless. They appear to contain... The Lazarus way a demonized human with a highly combustible explosive device embedded in its skin. So when we glory kill those things, we kick them a long way. Which is a good idea, because if we didn't, uh, there would be a problem whereby they... That was new. Have I already got my thing or something? Oh, you're one. Yeah, there we go. Do you think they heal? Because I've noticed that when they start flashing like that... It's um, too late. You've missed your opportunity to glory kill it. Oh, we did. We did that parkour thing that I was talking about. Yeah, bash it with its own... Excuse me. Bash it with its own arm. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. It's pretty funny. Thank you for that, HP. Bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't tell me about this when I'm... 
fighting. That thing just jumped over that pit like a fucking ninja. Which is not how we do things around here. Let's get rid of this. Right, now we're in the... I want to be able to see my HP. It was telling me about stuff. I've got nine shotgun shells. Get down from there. This is quite good fun, mostly because of the way the enemies are interacting with the way I'm killing them. Which is an interesting thing to say. Uh, I don't necessarily think that you interact with the way people kill you. Um, but... Yeah. You know what I mean. They, The way that I'm attacking them... That's, that's pretty cool. Is it flat? Can't tell if that's a cheap effect or an amazing one. Um, I've got two. Reduces the retard charge time between explosive shots. Or, decreases the time it takes to power up. Decreases the light weight. Move at full speed when using the charge energy shot. Can I get some of these? Bigger boom. There's a loading time. Ah, oh, that'll be the when we uh, zoom in. We don't have to wait. I think I'm going to do that. I'm not really using it very much. But... Um, I think now I might do as a result of that. So let's have a look at where we're going. I quite like this map style because it very abstracts the lay of the land from what's going on. There's also a few things to look for. See, armour. It's not telling me about all secrets right now. But maybe I can get an armour upgrade that will allow me to find them a little bit more easily. There's a data log over there. So we should basically just keep exploring. Now, I was saying that I like the way that they interact with the way I kill them. Basically, I like the way that there's a lot of flow in the, um, the stuff that's happening. Well, I found the data log. Resource operations. We're going to learn about resource operations. Let's do this. Then this. Um, Vega. Not so much. Don't remember here computer. And we've got a tutorial that we don't really care about. All right, cool. Um, the like when I basically I came to when I shot that thing off of that. I didn't want it to be up there, so I shot it, and then it wasn't up there anymore, um, which really helped. I appreciate it. What have we got here? Oh, now we found it. In terms of bigger demon, what you need a surplus of ammunition. I could dismiss that at any time just by pressing E, apparently. So we have three fuels. It's a special type of ammunition, apparently, because uh, just using the chainsaw there didn't actually use any fuel. So I guess we'll try it out. <laughs> That's brilliant. So that used one fuel. And now I'm going to switch to this and get rid of this Joker. Send it over there to kill those. That interaction is amazing. Basically, it's like the enemies have synergies. Which I think is amazing uh, in a game. I mean, it's not uncommon. I've seen it before. But it's working really well here. And I think that's key. You know, you can't just have synergies. They have to flow. I was talking in the previous episode, I think, uh, about watching Avak and Northern Lion playing... Um, dead cells in which beating stuff up recovered you some health. Uh, which is somewhat of a, a parallel to this, where beating stuff up properly means that health drops. But um, it's not just that. There's, there's a way that you can play them off of each other or use your skills properly and things like that that make a, a proper fighting game flow really well. So we need to find that. It did actually tell us what we need to do. Let me, um, oh, I did finish it. Perfect. So we've got to find three secrets, but I don't know what they look like. I don't know when I found a secret is basically what I'm suggesting here. So the yellow door is a door that's propped up and looks yellow. That looks like a secret. That looks like a secret. I don't know if they count as secrets when they're on the map, if that's what, if that makes sense. Yes, they do, because I need, I need to figure out how to get into here is what the game's telling me. And once I've done that, then I will have found myself a secret. I need to get into there, obviously. In any other game, that would be explosive, so I'm 
considering being a little bit cautious about the whole firing around here. The number of times I've died in Fallout, any of them, um, just from... How do we get up there? Firing when I didn't realise that we were in a volatile situation. I'm going to guess that I'll die if I try and walk through the lasers, rather than they're blocking me, so... I mean, health and safety aren't really a too big a deal to UAC or indeed Bethesda. We can get up there, though. I'm wondering if we can ride it somehow? Get in it? Let's not die. <sighs> Game. I know what you're trying to do. I appreciate the bits of me that I can still see. Collecting half the secrets learns you one. Collecting all of them earns two. Uh, and they are a challenge. In this level, at least. So I'm guessing they're a challenge in that level, too. We've already picked that up. I appreciate that they don't... Oh, I do have an upgrade. I have an upgrade point. I appreciate that they don't make me do the chainsaw tutorial again. So let's have a look at our upgrades. Upgrades? So these are going to cost three. These are going to cost one. So we should put one in here, basically. Um, I do use this reasonably quickly, reasonably often. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I would also like to be able to move around faster whilst I'm doing that, which also seems like a good upgrade. Honestly, this primary pistol, much like the one in Unreal, and if you want to know what that's like, uh, I'm going to plug somebody else. You should go and check out Rorax. Rorax has made uh, an Unreal series quite some time ago now. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with... Ah, right, we have to do all this again. If you're unfamiliar with Unreal, you should go check that out, because it's a pretty good one. Um, but the primary pistol with infinite ammo in Unreal has a similar um, upgrade cycle throughout the game. I didn't appreciate that at all. Mate. I like the way you die in different ways. Um, it upgrades itself as you go through the game, and of course it has a charge shot, so this is very similar to it. Um, but it means that the free full ammo... the the, the Weapon that is free and has infinite ammo, which is the same thing in a different way, um, is actually really useful throughout the entire game rather than just. Cute dokey. Wow! That thing managed to sh shop. Okay. What I'm learning in this game is that I am not stronger than everything else, much like we were in the original Doom, which I actually mentioned a few times, actually. Which um, Something that always surprised me about games is that. I think it's a feature of the time to be fair to them and you know it's not it's not a big deal obviously at the time the way to make a game difficult was to make more stuff required for you to not die in it or to like make it difficult by making there more stuff that can kill you um, rather than by making you weaker so in this situation it appears that that thing there is actually more than capable of killing me and the world does continue while I'm doing that so I should uh, be more careful basically I think the fact that a game that is this hectic so there's a few games that I play that are somewhat hectic this is of course one of them um and a, a consistent thing I found about them, or at least, not consistent, one of the differences between them is the way it deals with the hecticness. Um, one problem I, one, one game I had a problem with was Bioshock. At least Bioshock Infinite. It wasn't so much of a problem with the original Bioshocks. There were one and two, by which I mean, by which I mean one and two. Really? Oh fuck! I tried to duck. <clears throat> Can you crouch? Yes. Um. But in Bioshock Infinite, I've constantly found myself losing track of where all the enemies were. I'd turn around and they'd be gone and I'd be confused. I didn't like being confused. It's not part of my natural state of being. Uh, and then in other games, like Fallout, for example, you have vats to help you with things. And in Skyrim, you have nothing, which is why I don't really like Skyrim, because trying to play that sort of game... Oh, 
on the uh, Xbox is just asking for trouble. It's a fool's game. I can hear what I believe to be the possessed going on over here. So I'm guessing that if I go in this direction... Oh, maybe not. Nope. I was guessing that I could get to... Here's where we find out if it's paused or not. Um, I want to go over there, basically. I'm on this level, not this level. This is level I want to be on because that appears to be above this, which is where the secret is. In this game, the hecticness doesn't appear to be a huge deal. Ha ha ha, I want to see what happens. Even though it got me in the middle of all that mess. I'm really liking these, um, these uh, lighting effects right here. So you are basically just swinging at me. Swing and a miss. Three strikes and you're out. Uh, this game's hecticness basically doesn't give you any... It, it doesn't get you confused. It got me really confused in... Uh, as mentioned, Bioshock. But this one is not doing it, which is very interesting because I don't know how. Uh, e, not D. Let me in. Hello. Kind of hoping to find the machine gun. Ah, uh, what? That is actually significantly faster uh, charge up, which I appreciate. Yay! There's so many different ways of doing that. I can understand why people like this game, and because I do too. So now we have to do this, which causes everything to come and try and beat the shit out of me for a very long time. It basically activates an entire spawning pod of demons. So it seems to me that we are on Mars. I was wrong when we started. We are on Mars, but the Hellmouth is already open. But we have law that explains how it happened. Thank you for shooting that one with this one. I need you to all be killable. I'm assuming they can shoot each other. Um, honestly, I don't know whether they have infighting like in original Doom. The fact that they had infighting in original Doom meant that they added infighting to original Doom. Thank you for that. Which meant that... Oh, I've got all that ammo. Loving it. Which meant that... They did it on purpose. They added it in. You know, I know it was programmed in, thanks to 42% health. Um telling me in the comments of the previous series. So that implies that they will have added it in into this one because this one is uh, faithful and unfaithful at the same time to the original game. Faithful in the fact that it's just an action game where you kill imps and stuff. Very much enjoying the uh, combat in this game. I don't sound excited. That's just me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, I can cackle evilly every so often. Evilly. Evilly. Every so often, if that gives you some more uh, sort of vicarious enjoyment of the game. But look, there's got to be more baddies. I wouldn't mind a radar that just tells me where to go next. Oh, hello. That was worth it. HP, thank you. Race to Charging up. I like the way that you can... Well, I thought that was something caught coming towards me. It was, but it was on my side. Uh, I like the way that you can charge towards them over quite some distance. Um, I'm not quite sure what that distance is right now, though. I like this arena. I like how we keep getting these arenas that are full of bad guys. Oh, hello. I'm guessing it's... Um... I'm guessing it's... Sega? New Vegas, New Sagas, that's been um, recording these things and that is playing it back to me. So I'm guessing when I go up here, I find out what the last thing was to go up here. I'm not really going to uh, press to digitate. Nope, that's the other one. Press to cognificate. Uh, too hard about. Hello. What um, what the law's going to be, what the story is going to be, because I'm sure it'll come out. In over time anyway. So I'm going over here. 
This is approximately where I want to be, actually. So that's good. Yeah, this is the level I want to be on. Okay. So we need to jump down at some point on this part of the level. Let's min-max that HP there for a while. Ooh, hello. This is what I want. Uh, hold the weapon to shard a three-round burst with tighter spread. Is that the only thing we can upgrade? I guess that's our option. I didn't see a way of upgrading the pistol. That did pick up the whole clip, so... There's the thing we've been watching. Fully mod. If you have two mods, you can quickly switch between them by pressing R. So that's explosive shot. And this is charge burst. So you can see it says it down in the the, the right hand corner there above when I actually change. Got explosive shot and charge burst. I think I'm going to prefer explosive shot because it's going to use the same amount of um. Oh, come on. It's going to use the same amount of ammo. That did make me jump, and I don't know why. I'm wondering if maybe I should be playing this in the dark. It is currently not the dark. We should save our ammo to do these essentially pesky. It's nice of Bethesda to make a game where if you shoot something in the head, it actually fucking dies. Because I found it particularly pesky in Fallout, where you can get a perfect headshot on a human being, uh, and they just go, oh, that felt funny. Don't appreciate the way they burn up like that. It's um Ah. Right. Yes. Okay. They look like they're framed by targeting reticules, but they are not. Um we oh. We wanna be up there. Let's see if we can get back that way. I don't want to go this way. We need to go back. We have to go deeper. Uh we need to use this. That's really annoying. There's gotta be a quicker way in. No? Don't know. Uh, let's just go back up. I want to go back up there because I happen to know that the lift takes us to where we want to be. And, of course, we don't have to fight everything. This time. Oh, fucking hell. Let's see. I'm going to change that. <laughs> Key bindings. Crouch. Control. Yes. What am I going to grade? Uh... Hell it. We'll just use middle mouse button. At least if I want to fire a grenade, I'm going to remember to press a button. Because it's not fucking sending me the grenade, right? If I'm trying to crouch and I'm pressing control like this and then throwing a grenade at myself, that's a bit silly. And also, my grenade's on cooldown. Although, I don't know if that means that I have infinite grenades and I just have to wait. So that's the way through there. What was that? Stuff. What am I picking up? It's not telling me. That's annoying. Access. Oh. We do want to come back through here. I appreciate this. What are these? Don't know. Also not useful. Press E. Must I? Okay. Contact sysadmin. Well, that's not me. I'm a marine. I know this because I'm good with guns, apparently. I mean, me personally, maybe... Having died several times may give you some <laughs> some cause for questioning that, and you would not be wrong. Um, secret found. It tells you. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to actually use my control key to duck, which is why I made it be duck. Brilliant. Any more? Oh, there's a cool... I see the cooldown now. It's the red circle after you've fired once. You use charge up, you fire once, and then the red circle appears. That is your cooldown. So we're going to want to be spending uh, some of our hard-earned weapon upgrades on that, I guess. That's one secret. We've got a Praetor token. Pre pre Praetor to Ooh. What does this do? The automatic reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. Not my favourite thing. Next upgrade costs two on this, which is decreased weapon self damage, which we've not been doing. Uh, and then this will be quick charge, which now that I've realised that our equipment, it appears that our grenade is infinite. Um, so now that I've realised that there is such a long cooldown on reusing a grenade, uh, it means that I'm 
fairly tempted to try and get a quicker one. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Second secret. That's two of three. So we've just acquired a what appears to be a machine gun. Let's press tab. It is our oh, it's a combat. No, it's a no. It is a plasma rifle. What? All right, cool. So it's got plasma things. Maybe what we found earlier on. You know what it's like about Chekhov's gun. Uh, this is Chekhov's ammunition container. But the same principle applies. Damn it. Uh, Chekhov's gun, of course, means that if you if if a story sets up something, then the story will have to use that thing, basically. So this is a secret down here. That one's been found. I see. I see. I see. There's one up here, which we may be able to. It may not be a secret, right? Um, a secret could simply be something that is not on this map. And like, I don't know if that down there was on the map until I discovered it, and then it was too late. I didn't come back to it. So let's let's go back to where we were. How do we get out of here? Let me out. Help. I went out. I'm, I'm done. So it was through here. This way. We have to get out. We need to go deeper. We can't get out that way. What? How do we get out? It must be this way. In this part. Please. There we go. But was this not where we just went out of? And then we're stuck in this little bit, which doesn't really go anywhere. I'm stuck in a secret. This is preposterous. How can we be stuck in a secret bit of the level? Okay. There's nothing... Uh, oh. Ah, here we go. Press E. Kick. Yeah! Loving it. Checkpoint reached. Don't mind. Alright, cool. So this is where I actually want to be in the first place, isn't it? Because then we go up in this elevator. Which is... Elevator locked. Welcome to the UAC Mars facility. Look, not really feeling very welcome. Oh, we've got to go all around. <laughs> Different place. Fine, though. Let's, uh, let's do it. We could get more HP, which may not be a terrible idea. It's a very dangerous door. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to ruin themselves on that one. I spent a long time in this level. So then we came through here, and then we went through here. And we couldn't open that before, but now we can. Right, 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 right. And then we opened this elevator. Elevator locked. This is the same one. Not this elevator. This elevator. This is where we were, fighting everything that was going on about stuff. In your own time. I mean, at least things don't attack you at random. What is all this? I should probably pay attention to the scenery, because people put a lot of effort into this, and I think I've said this in a previous game. Wow, I've just realised how loud my microphone is, and I have to apologise for this. Um, I guess I'll fix it in the next episode. Uh, yeah. Sorry about all the noise. A super loud night. It looks like it's uh, reset the volume, and I hadn't noticed until literally just now. Um, so I'm going to have to apologise for the clipping on this. I'm going to have to talk a little bit more quietly. Um, yeah, we'll take that. So we wanted to go in there, which we didn't last time. This is a secret? You're joking? All I needed to do was walk through the door, which said access granted as soon as I picked up the thing. And I went forwards thinking that forwards was more of a secret than the uh, backwards one. So this is going to be the way into the armor room down here. So it is a secret, and it was on the map. So I don't know if all secrets are on the map or off the map. I don't know if there's always one or always the other. There's more secrets, wow. That was just armor, but this is an armor upgrade. That's what we want. Um, yeah, that microphone has reset itself something chronic because I have it about 40% usually, and now it's at 100%. So, I mean, compressing will reduce a lot of the <laughs> like the volume of it, so it's not going to be horrible for you, but yeah, we definitely want to recharge the duration of equipment. Um, it's going to sound bad, and I'm going to have to apologize for that right now. 
How are you supposed to open this area from anywhere else? I assume there's a way. Alright. Uh, we are going through here, which is now available to us. Oh. Do we want to follow this, Joker? I mean, I'm pretty sure we found his... ...stuff, right? I don't know if that was real noise or not. Like, was that recorded noise? Is it you? I think it's you. But you never know. Oh, whatever. I'm assuming that um, you're supposed to press that in the first place. Because that was the same person that we followed through the... Uh, ...elevator. I'm going to finish off this... ...particular level. Now we've got the machine gun. Uh, and make it a bit of a longer episode, because this is a new game that we're at the start of. Please. Heavy assault rifle, that's what we like to see. There's that for you. Uh, can we pick that up? No, because we haven't taken any damage yet. What is this? Hold Q to activate the weapon select wheel. That's pretty okay. Does it pause the game? It slows the game down. I think that's okay. Uh, there's a health... Thingy, but I don't need health. Is this a bad idea? I don't want to open airlock. At uh, airlock. The thing about airlocks is the bit where it says air lock, right? In Doom 3, when we went outside, we had to keep running around to pick up oxygen tanks. I'm hoping this one isn't quite so obnoxious. That was not one of my favourite parts because it seems such a forced way of doing it, you know? Uh, but we are on Mars. I'm not quite sure if or whether or when we're going to have a right mouse thing to do with this gun, but... Ah, leave me alone. Yeah, they, they keep firing things at you, even when you're glory killing something else. So make sure before you start at the glory hole that you are prepared to finish. So let's try this wheel. Yeah, it slows down to an extent. Even the music slows down, that's pretty radical. I mean, slowing down audio is not the uh, hardest thing in the world, I believe, but at the same time, the whole of the universe just slows down. That looked like an ASMD, if I'm being honest, so please stop stealing things from... Ooh. I think I just got a berserk. That's amazing. I did get a Berserk, because it says Berserk on it. Oh, wonderful. There is nothing like a Berserk in the Doom game, quite frankly. Oh, I don't know if people noticed the um, comment I had on the previous series where... <laughs> oh, it switches back. That's really useful. Um, someone pointed out that the Berserk is intended to be a melee damage upgrade for the entirety of the level in the original Doom, which is why I thought what I thought was a... Um, bug nearly turned out to be you know expected behavior I don't know what refills our chainsaw but it ain't me I don't notice myself picking up chainsaw ammo not that it tells you what you're picking up at any fucking point this is good did that fill it up again no I'm not quite sure if I'm pressing F or G because my brain's a little bit flooded by the speed of combat, I guess. Something I haven't really got used to because obviously the combat in uh, the previous Doom series was somewhat frantic, but it wasn't this frantic. Jeez Louise. There's another armor. I kind of appreciate the fact that picking up the armor is not um, not necessarily the goal. Like You, you get the bonus for finding it. Some game... Oh, what game was I playing? Where... No, it, it was original Doom, where if you can't pick up a thing, you don't get the credit for all the items in the game, even though you don't need them all, because of course we've been outside already, so that was just a silly thing for me to be saying before. Um, thank you for grabbing the edge. If you don't need all the items in the game, you can't get 100% completion, which isn't really part of the game. It's not like it's maintaining a completion amount for the entire game that you've played, but watch your step, sure. This is not the most... Uh, I mean, come on, UAC. 
I'm going to finish this level. Seems like a good idea. Then we'll uh, call that the end of this level. It's been 40 minutes already, so... I mean, I did die a couple of times, but that's why we're here. If I'd known it was going to take this long, of course, I would have just alt-tabbed and changed the volume. I'm going to do it now. I've, I've decided. How about that? Does that seem okay? Oh, that's too little. Uh, yeah, that seems better. I, I should have just done that in the first place. Um, that took no time, so I feel a little bit silly for not having done it. Uh, genuinely, when I was talking about the microphone, I thought the level will be done in a minute, so I don't need to address that, and then I forgot about it, uh, and then we got this far and it took no time, so I should have just done it. Oh, silly me. Hello, mate. Sorry that your uh, authorization is the only thing that you have after death. We have resumed the alignment of what I assume to be a satellite. There's a lot of things that could be automated and weren't. Like, resume power? Why would you not? Your access to the facility scanner. Come to the Vega terminal and I'll give you what you need. I'm not sure about this person. So, the, the Olivia person was definitely... Or certainly seems to have been somewhat hoodwinked by... I like that effect. Um, hoodwinked by the... the promises of the devil which is silly because you should never listen to the devil um, who is indeed in the details so if you're not really a detail oriented person you're more likely to get hoodwinked by said devil no that down button please down button. well you knew what you meant even though it's not what you said so we're going over there now I can hear baddies oh that was a great shot didn't hurt but great shot please don't need you on this plane with me not, um, not aeroplane, like mortal plane, like coil. You, you get the idea. I was referring to the, the dimension, but obviously it seemed like I was talking about an aeroplane, which just makes these things seem a little bit more... Like, you can't take these fire... You can't take a lighter on an aeroplane. I don't think these people will be allowed on at all. I mean, maybe calling them people is a little bit generous. I don't know. Is that rude? I mean, imps are people too, right? Things are happening. Creepy things are happening. I see you. One shot from that is actually quite powerful, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Where is this pissing thing? Have we fallen down too far? I don't think I'm meant to go down this far. Let's have a look. Was it that? I thought it was that. There's two objectives. What? Oh, now it's telling me. Huh! We've done it. Man, it's a good thing this marine is trained as. It's a good thing I changed this control key. Because that was nasty. That could have been a disaster. Well, now we're here. What do we do? Can we get up there? Yeah. Don't know why I wanted to be in that section of it. And then up here. This is like Fallout, uh, Far Cry 3. Climbing on, climbing up the radio tower, trying to get. Why would this be the correct thing to do? Seriously, is it just a secret? This levels are huge, by the way. Is this a new place? This is a new place. I'm okay with this. Oh, we should use our plasma gun. Yeah. I don't think they regain all of their HP when they do that. Bro. He finally managed to shoot me. I was like, you're shooting your, uh, you're shooting your shield there, mate. You know what? I think that's a good place to call it. Thank you for watching this episode. I apologize for the sound issues, but, um, I want to stand up. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. Um, we know what to do, so I'll probably finish this off before I come back to the next episode and get back to where we were. Uh, and then, um, Honestly, I should just save it. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I certainly am. The combat in this is outrageous compared to the combat in the previous game. And, of course, the whole point of playing, playing that game was to compare it to this game, which is 20-odd years later. So I hope uh, you think it is a, a honest, not a faithful reproduction, but uh, in keeping with the original game. And I'm glad that, as a Bethesda game, it has yet to actually crash. So 
Thank you for watching this episode. Remember to use the like button and comment and subscribe and all that cool stuff and check out James playing Hollow Knight and all that other cool stuff. But until the next episode, hope you've enjoyed this one. Tell me if you want me to keep doing the lore thing so you can read whilst paused. Uh, and I will see you next time.